All right, last video, we learned how to make these crenellations going around on the rectangular part. But let's say I want some on my circular tower here as well. So this video will look how to do that. All right, so first thing I have to do is I have to draw that little bump on top, just like I did with rectangular. So I'm going to right-click, make a new sketch on the top of my wall. Now, it's tough to make. If I use rectangle, then it's not going to make a perfect circular pattern. I could use line tool to try to get it to line up. Really, the best way that I find if you like to have it perfect is to make these circles. And we want to just match the circles that we have. So you draw your first circle there that matches. Then you draw your second one that matches. And now we're going to just take our line tool and we're going to connect that circle any spot we want. Okay, so there. Now we have those two lines connecting. Now I want just that bump there, so I'm going to use the trim tool. We looked at trim earlier. I'm going to get rid of that part. We're going to get rid of that part, and now we have our nice little bump. Is he perfect? Not quite, but he looks pretty good. Okay, so we're going to finish that sketch. Now we're going to extrude just this little guy right here. Point one. that's what we used for these crenellations, so let's make those the same. Say OK. And now we're going to pattern him with a circular pattern. But now when you're doing a circular pattern, you have to have a center of axis that you're going to rotate around. So we're going to make it work axis. We've used work planes. We use work axis. So click the drop down on, work on axis. And we want it through the center of a circular edge. So just pick our circular edge and boom. See that little yellow axis that just showed up? Now he's red when I highlight him. And that's what we're going to draw this around. Right? You can see it goes right down the middle. So we're going to click Circular Pattern. The feature, again, is just that bump, right? Let's turn it so we can see what we're selecting here. We just want that bump. And then the rotation axis, that's what we're going to select here, is that yellow line that we just made. You can see there he shows up. Do we want him to go all the way around? That's 360 degrees. What if we only wanted to go halfway around? Then you do 180, okay? Well, of course, I want mine to go through all the way around for mine. But six, they're kind of spaced too far apart. Let's try 12. 12 looks pretty good. I like it. Okay, let's try 10 just for the fun of it. Mm, 10 might even be better. So I'm going to say, okay, that looks pretty darn good. Okay, if I don't like it, remember you can always fix it. Right, circular pattern. You could go edit that pattern, which is a feature. And you're like, mm, maybe 12 was better. Let's put 12. Whoa, not 132. That's kind of crazy, isn't it? Let's try 12. Yeah, it might look a little better, not such big gaps, so we can't get shot through there. And that's it. Look how good our castle's looking already. And that's circular pattern.